Hi guys, uh, welcome to this Pinifo Tech video tutorial. Uh, in this video we're going to go over how to dual boot Windows 7 and Windows 8. And, and also in this video you're going to be learning uh, several things like uh, how to shrink the, uh, the computer hard drive to make a space to install Windows 8. Uh, we're going to go over to um, how to create a new partition in Windows 7 and we're also going to go over how to install Windows 8 developer preview and and last and finally uh, we're um, I'm gonna teach you how to modify the uh, boot menu to make um, Windows 7 your default operating system so with that let's get started first uh, we're going to go to uh, the control panel so click and start click and control panel and choose large icons click in administrative tools double click in uh, computer management and computer management under storage we're going to click disk management and here you see your drive C that's where uh, Windows, 7, Windows 7 is installed right now and we need to like make a space to install Windows 8 so we're just gonna right click on the um, on this partition and we're going to select shrink volume okay in this step uh, we're going to um, enter the amount of space to shrink and uh, we need to enter a number that is on um, that is in megabytes uh, Windows 8 requires a minimum a minimum uh, free space of uh, 16 gigabytes so we're going to be uh, using 20 gigabytes just uh, to make it safe 20 20,480 megabytes is about 20, 20 gigabytes so now we're just gonna uh, click shrink and now we're just gonna let uh, Windows 7 complete the, uh, the shrink okay so uh, Windows 7 I just uh, sorry I just paused the uh, video for one second um, now as you can see I have a uh, 20 gigabytes of an uh, an allocated space, and this is uh, my primary partition where I have a uh, Windows 7 installed. So now we're going to go uh, go ahead and uh, create a a new partition. So we're just gonna right click on it, and we're going to select new simple volume. We're gonna go through the wizard. We're gonna click next. I'm just gonna use uh, the total amount of space and we're going to click next now next again and here we're just gonna label Windows 8 and we're gonna leave the, the defaults click next and finish So as you see, it's a pretty straightforward. Now Windows uh, finished creating the partition is uh, formatting it. And like that, we have a new, a new um, partition in, a, in, our, in, in our hard drive. Now we see how Windows already uh, sees the, uh, the new partition if we go to computer and you see it right here is the new partition created okay so um, 
now I'm just uh, going to uh, restart the computer with the um, with the Windows 8 developer preview DVD and I'm gonna start the installation for Windows 8 so I'm just gonna close this and I'm going to restart I'm gonna save this Okay, here is the, uh, the Windows 8 developer preview installed. The installation of Windows 8 is now different from Windows 7. So we got the same user interface where you're going to choose your language, your time zone, and, and your keyboard input. So I'm just going to click next and I'm going to click install now. Okay, we need to accept the uh, licensing terms. So check that and click next. So here we're just going to uh, choose costume. So here is uh, my uh, my partition two that I label Windows 8, and it has like 20 gigabytes. And in partition one is is my primary partition where I have installed Windows 7. So I'm just gonna click the Windows 8 partition and I'm gonna click next and now Windows is gonna install so I'm just gonna pause this for a second and I'm gonna come back when the installation is done now I'm just going to finalize the installation of Windows 8 I'm just gonna choose the name for the uh, for my computer next I'm gonna use the uh, Express settings I'm gonna enter my my email address and I'm gonna click next to the password I'm going to create a local account We just finished with installation of uh, Windows 8, as you can see right here. And now, if we checked, the computer you see that Windows 8 has been installed in the um, partition that we created. And on the uh, on the right, that's our, our Windows Seven partition. Okay, so now I'm just uh, going to restart the computer, and we're going to change the uh, boot menu, so that way Windows Eight doesn't start by default, and we're gonna set the uh, Windows Seven to be our primary operating system. So I'm just going to uh, press Windows I to bring the uh, settings menu and I'm going to click on power 
and I'm gonna click restart all right so we are in the uh, new boot menu from Windows 8 as you can see Windows developer preview is set up as a default and uh, Windows 7 will start manually if you choose so um, now we're gonna change the uh, the boot order here so uh, Windows 7 will be the first on the top and it will be the one that will boot first so it's just gonna click uh, change defaults or choose other options and we're gonna click on choose the default operating system as you see the uh, the current default is at Windows Developer Preview so we click that and then we just are uh, going to click Windows 7 and now the current default changed to um, Windows 7 and that's pretty much it um, now it's just uh, choose um, choose an operating system to boot just for this demo I'm just going to continue with Windows Developer Preview okay to recap in this video you learn how to shrink the Windows 7 partition to make room to create another partition we created an, a new partition to install Windows 8 we went through the steps to install Windows 8 and finally we looked at the uh, new boot menu and made Windows 7 our default operating system that boot at the startup and and at any time you would like to play with Windows 8 you just need to restart the computer and select it from the menu so I hope this video was informative for you and I would like to thank you for viewing